Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. So today's topic is switching genders. <laughs> guys, if you're not in the channel box, you can join today um, by clicking the join now button or clicking the link in the description bar. It is $4.99 to be a member. You do have to be at least 18 years old. Um, that's where I give behind the scene updates. I tell what I'm doing, what I'm working on, what how I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, no. Um, extra videos sometime, also live streams that are exclusive just to my Chatterbox members. But regardless, either route you choose, I do appreciate you guys being a Lola, and I hope you guys be a Lola for life. All right, Lolas. Today, peeking in my window, you will see Aspen, who you guys briefly met a couple times. So, by the time you see this video, you should have seen who he is by and all that great jazz. So, I'm not going to go over all that information, but I am going to say Aspen came to me as a girl I decided to change Aspen to a boy because I feel like he's more more of a boy um there's something else I might do with Aspen I am not totally sure yet but I'm going to uh, order another body and see how I feel um I don't know I'm kind of mixed on the emotions this is an older kid very much older kid he has full legs and three fourth arms but at the same time his body seemed a bit elongated and his position of he has an older phase he to me appears to be older you know because of the size of him but these socks are pulled down a little bit so his little feet ain't that big <laughs> uh. Matter of fact, I'll pull one off so you can see his feet. He does have decent sized feet though. Um, I feel like he would be better on a shorter body and more baby because he doesn't his the way his the position of his legs are doesn't make him look like he should even be sitting up. Like it looks weird. I don't know. The the sculpt is beautiful, but looks weird but anyway that wasn't the point of the video um I would show you guys later but I feel like when he's laying down he looks better than trying to sit him up so I don't think I think I can do him as a three to four month size baby if I put him on a shorter body and just have him more of a baby baby um I don't know kind of like I said mixed emotions because if he's got on pants and stuff you don't really it doesn't I don't know anyway um I don't know let me know what you think about that like do you think you guys would like to see him on a shorter body and see how that works out for him versus this body um just let me know uh the other baby is more of a private baby um but I've had it was a her for some time, um, I showed this baby in the chat box, and I don't know why I want to call him Roman. I switched him to a boy yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I want to call him Roman, but maybe his kit is, I, forget, I don't even know his name is kit. I know he's by Gutman Lang Legler, but he is a Jennifer Leverett baby, Linkovic's baby. Um... That's the artist's name. But I decided to name him Indy. And I think he does so much better as a boy. I mean, he was cute as a girl, but mm, I, he's he's giving me boy vibes. And I'm really feeling him as a boy. Same as this baby. Just really feeling him as a boy. Um, so... And his hair is not wet. That's this is something else I want to point out. His hair is not wet. Look at how his curls popping and stuff. But and it's very crisp. Like his curls are very, very crisp. But if I 
if I pick them out, they'll be his hair will be more froey like, and um, it you won't notice the shine as much. But he's so cute. Um, both of these babies, you really can't see as much detail on them on camera, but they are modeled um, in detail. So, pretty cool. And I did not change Ducky into a boy. She is wearing blue and, and cream color, but um, she had the headband on to, to bring out, make it more girly. Um, so, yeah, she, she is still going to be my girl, but I just thought, um, she was already there and I didn't want to move her and disturb her. So she's in the video, but yeah, so those are my two boys. I, I changed them to boys. I feel better about it. Um, I couldn't never come up with a name for this baby, um, as a girl, but here it is that I changed him into a boy and it's like. I can't decide between Roman and Indy, but I think I'm going with Indy. He looks Indian or something. So, uh, I mean, I had a baby cousin. Um, I have. She's grown. She's not a baby anymore. That's why I talk, say past tense. But she's not a baby anymore. But she literally looked like this. Not facial uh, features. But skin tone, hair, all that, like her, she was, she was very much like this as a baby. Um, and it was, it was so funny. She had really dark hair and very hairy, but she was a lighter skin tone. Um, so, and she's actually kind of, she was named after me. <laughs> so, um, pretty cool. Anyway, so that that baby, this baby definitely fits into my family a lot. So that's why I, like, I think I like Jennifer Likovitz babies because um, our a lot of our babies are very hairy. Like, um, so there's that. Um, I know I don't show babies from other artists as much on my channel anymore. Or on my Instagram anymore they're more private to me and I just want to explain that really quick for those that you know may not understand it being that I paint myself um, it's not that I don't want to give these artists credit and shine that's why I at least show them once or twice um, and give them their praises um, it's just because I want people to know me for me and my work and I want them to understand, like, I don't want people to ever be confused and think they're going to get a Jennifer Linkovic or a Jody Slater or whoever I have in my collection work. <laughs> this is this is my channel. It's about me, my collection, my art, you know what I mean? Like my my work, my painting, my babies, me, my channel. <laughs> um but like I said, I definitely still like to give credit to these artists because they are great artists, apparently, because I have their babies in my collection. <laughs> and I don't I don't do not a credible artist. No, I'm so <laughs> No, I but they are. They are they are uh great artists. Um I typically um I have a, you know, I have a, 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 a peculiar taste in, in, in the dolls that I collect. And sometimes I have artists that I like certain styles that they do and some styles I don't like. Um, so sometimes it's like a hit or miss. And then I have some artists that they could paint bubble gum and I want it. You know what I mean? Like there's, you know, there's those artists, you know, um. But nevertheless, like I said, I enjoy painting from, I mean, not painting from, collecting from a very, very, very uh, skilled artists. Um, these artists been around 
been painting a lot longer than me. And it doesn't even matter about them painting longer than me. I, I you know, because let me be clear on that. Because I hate when people try to downplay or be like, oh, yeah, they're doing better because they've been painting longer than me. Because there's artists out here that's been painting forever and their work look like trash. So, um, that has nothing to do with anything. Um, there's some new artists that's upcoming now that work looks amazing. Like, they've been painting all their life. Um, but, like I said, once you've seen a lot of work, a lot of babies and stuff, you kind of be able to decipher between what's, you know, beginner work, intermediate work, and what's you know advanced and what's exceptional um there's some people that does a lot um good with uh, effects you know um like the dry skin and, and the bumps and the this like the 3d effects and stuff like that and then there's others that is amazing in their color play as i call it um with the undertones and the the the, the amount of detail that it takes in the actual painting itself versus, you know, the special effects. So, and I appreciate all of that because at the end of the day, it all adds realism if it's done right. And then there's some people that do too much, you know, but the skill is there. They just, you know, haven't like fine tuned it and made it just flow nicely without it being overly done. Um, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, I'm just rambling. I should get off of here now. Um, again, uh, Jody Slater painted, uh, Aspen and Jennifer Linkovics painted, uh, Indy, the baby over to your, well, my right, um, that you guys not seeing face is a baby painted and rooted by me. Um, that's Ducky. So, yeah. So, anyway, I appreciate it. It, you know, I appreciate these artists for allowing me to adopt their work. <laughs> and, well, I will, uh, Indy was secondhand. Um, and I, I actually made a video about secondhand. And I was going to upload it to the channel box. But I need to, I think I need to go back and. And, and redo that video so that it makes more sense. I was like all into it and it was like all over the place. So um, that was a topic that people wanted to talk about. But anyway, um, I guess I should be thanking also the collector <laughs> that allowed me to adopt one of her Jennifer Linkovitz babies. Um, but I definitely appreciate the artist for painting it, number one. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great day. See you in the next video.